so yeah so we were discussing about why sap is so popular and the reason why sap is so popular in in terms of erp products because it holds 72% uh, more than 72 75 72 or 75 72 is the late uh, um latest percentage according to 2021 but i don't know what is the percentage for current year but then you can understand that it has more than 70% of the market share that is the reason sap is more popular and also has a lot of demand in terms of consultants in terms of jobs in terms of business it has a, a upper share comparative to microsoft or uh, ibm or other competitors we also have other ERPs in the market like uh, Udo is one ERP and also Microsoft Dynamics is there which is an ERP. Sage is an, a small and medium scale ERP but is a, one is one of the toughest competitors for SAP in um, the Middle East market, Sage, Infer and also there are a couple of uh, other products for, which give competition to SAP but then it has a lot of uh, it has more than 72 percent of share in the market so that is the reason we have a lot of opportunities so now we will discuss what is ecc the basic concept of sap ecc okay what what uh, the basic concept of erp so this erp um, software works in this such a way like this is a server, this is a central component. The, the reason why it is called SAP ECC, Enterprise Central Component, because there is one central component which you can treat this as a server or a central component or a client. So for this server, uh, to this server, we will have all the external modules connected like MM, PP, uh, project systems, industry solutions, workflows, Quality management, there should be ST here. It is somehow deleted. Uh, quality management, plant management, all these are external modules, financial accounting, controlling asset management. So these are uh, ec uh, external modules. And then you, you might have heard about client and server technology, right? So these are all the yeah. clients and this is a central server. So this is a one to many relationships like multiple products or multiple uh, clients or multiple front-end systems will be connected to one back-end system. So this is the core component or the core um, concept of SAP ERP system. So we will see this in a very uh, another way. So here we have uh, three layers. This is called the three-tier architecture. This is how the SAP is built. Even S4 HANA or ECC, the build concept is same. So we have this architecture has three layers. So first layer is called the database layer, which will have only database. Okay, so this is also kind of server which will have uh, Linux or uh, Windows. It can be Windows, Linux or uh, Unix server. Uh, this will have only database. So the other layer is the application programming layer. So this is also a kind of server, but then this server also has logic in it. Okay, so this is called presentation layer. And then we have the third layer, which is called, um, sorry, uh, I'm sorry. This is the application layer, uh, which is the uh, second layer, and it has all the logic database plus logic in this. And the third layer is the presentation layer. This does not have any database. This is just the front end system, or it is a user interface. Uh, it can be a PC or laptop or mobile. This, this is the interface where the end users will be working on. So this will not have any database. This will only take commands and take it, deliver it to the application layer. Here in application layer, since it has logic and database, this will process that command and then it will again send the data to the presentation layer or the user. So this is something like Google uh, or what how how the interview sorry in the how the internet works how Google works this is something like that you give some command in Google it will uh, take your uh, command to different uh, systems it will search for different different uh, database uh, different different links or different different websites in the database again it will give you bounce back with some result. 
So this is called the client and server uh, technology where the client is the end user or the person who gives command or asks, asks for some command. And then server is where we store the database and then here also logic is applied. So based on the command end user gives, this application layer or the server um, uses logic, so uses certain keys or certain strategies to search for whatever user has asked, and then it will bounce back with results. So the same technology or the same concept, uh, SAP is also built, but then it has three layers. So in database layer, we have complete data, but we will not have any logic. This is a kind of a second or, or this is a kind of replication of all the data that we have. So in case, even if if, if uh, the application layer one server is the, um, crashed or there is some issue with the system, still we have backup. Uh, all the data is actually stored in the database layer. So that is the reason we have two servers in SAP architecture. One server has all the raw data. Another server has all the um, raw data with uh, whatever configurations logics we put in and then we have a presentation layer. So this is uh, our three uh, architecture where we have three layers. So you might have known about client. You, I think you know what is client, right? So we have different clients in SAP. Client is an autom autonomous unit in R3 system. With regards to commercial law organization, it represents a company, actually, whatever company you are dealing with. For example, um, you know what is a client, right? So we have different types of clients in SAP. Uh, do you know about what is a client? I think you have come across this client, right? Yeah, I mean, client as a company, which I'm using. Yeah, like, client you know, my is company has got a new client, uh, client number, right? When we... That's the highest hierarchy of, of SAP uh, enterprise uh, system. So in clients, we have different types of clients like sandbox client. In this, we have customizing transactions and settings. Uh, there is something called testing client where we do all the uh, configuration testings with data. There is something called training client, whatever we will do. I mean, in, in this training period, we will take one server access and we will practice. So that is a training client. It will have all the predefined settings with uh, some default data. So you uh, users can do some uh, work around training here. There is something called pre-production. Pre-production is a replication of a production um, environment, production data or production client is uh, a live client which will have all the live data and we will uh, have production data uh, production client or production uh, data or production server so this production server has all the live data whatever transactional data you are processing the client is processing all that transactional data will be there in the production client or production uh, server um, this architecture um, is different for different companies. So basically the landscape is, the, I mean, the standard landscape is, we will have one uh, development client, we will have one testing client and we will have production client. So it is not necessary that we should follow only this architecture. Uh, businesses can have multiple pre-production environments. They can have multiple testing environments. They can also have multiple training environments, but the production environment will be same. It, there is no hard and fast rule that there should be only one production also some businesses they have multiple servers so they will have multiple production environments as well so that the complete scenario i mean the complete uh, blueprint or the complete built up the architecture built up is called landscape of sap <clears throat> so this is what is a client uh, and then uh, the bifurcations that we have in a client. Uh, ABAP, I already told you about what is ABAP. It is a programming language, which is built by SAP. Um, so these are all the details, basics of ERP system. So coming to implementation strategies, implementation strategies, we will discuss tomorrow. 
so we 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 have three types of users um, you are end user and you know that uh, apart from that we also have super users we who are business owners and also sap consultants so what are the roles of a support consultant uh, and a implementation consultant so what basically the what are the roles of a sap consultant so a sap consultant is supposed to gather information from users he is supposed to understand uh, uh, interpret those uh, requirements and then map into sap he is supposed to create user acceptance training documents he is supposed to create configuration documents and uh, mapping of requirements this we have discussed so these are the some some of the key um, some of the key roles of sap consultant apart from that we have to take requirements from the client and do customizing and delivering a solution sometimes we have to uh, take a requirement from the client uh, understand it properly uh, create a logic of that and then you have to deliver it to the technical guys discuss with the technical guy you and the technical person or the uh, back in app person uh, they, we both have to sit and talk we have to create a solution logic and then we have to do the customization so this is a part of mo mostly your role will be communicating only communicating with the client interpreting that uh, requirement explaining it to your uh, juniors explaining it to the technical consultant sometimes we have to uh, work with the basis consultants also uh, for certain requirements sometimes mostly we'll be working with fi and mm consultants also so at any uh, at any point the key concept is like you have to understand and interpret the requirement of the end user first of all so we we will be the first uh, line of defense so the requirements goes from us so we have to understand clearly talk to the client ask him multiple questions and take requirements properly and then those uh, same requirements has to be again uh, delivered to multiple people uh, be it a technical guy or other functional module guy so this is one of the most uh, one of the uh, key um, role or role and responsibility that we do in our daily lives apart from that we are supposed to create training documents and um, create um, train you know the transactional documents do some um, coordination between between the technical team and, and for enhancements also we have to do regular uh, support works regular support works will be like uh, if there is a uh, issue in the sales order and it is not posting, you have to go and check the configurations of the sales orders in the back end because end users, they won't have the uh, access to the SPRO screen. So only consultants will have the access. So you have to go to the implementation IMG screen, uh, check for certain settings and then uh, clear the issue. So these, these are some of the day-to-day -day activities apart from that we will also we will also um, take backup of the system and do some backup activities data migration activities um so on and also upgrade upgradation of the system all this will be taken care of us so in terms of ecc there are certain implementation technologies implementation methodologies so we will briefly see one methodology, which is called ASAP methodology. So in this ASAP methodology, we have different phases. Okay. So those phases are um, project preparation, blueprint, realization, final preparation, go live and run. So I'll uh, briefly discuss what, I mean, tomorrow in the next class, I'll explain you what these uh, phases are, what we will do in these phases. And uh, we have different types of projects. I think you already know this. In implementation, we have five phases. So that is called an implementation project where the client is implementing SAP for the first time. Support projects are something like, uh, see, when you implement, you take one, one year of contract. So once the contract is elapsed, uh, the client can change the implementation partner or support partner. For example, Dr. Reddy's or uh, yeah, let's say Dr. Reddy. Dr. Reddy is the client. So IBM has implemented SAP for Dr. Reddy. So now the contract is finished. He wants to change IBM to uh, TCS. So he wants to give this project to TCS guys. So 
TCS guy will, I mean, TCS company will take over this uh, project from second year onwards. So that is called a support project wherein we will support the uh, client's end-to-end -end activities, regular activities. There will be no implementation or, you know, creating new things, new, new configurations and uh, importing into the system. We will only support the existing on, ongoing system, ongoing business of the client. So that is called support project. Rollout project is something like if, if a client has multiple branches in all over the country. So for example, let's say in Europe, he has implemented ECC, but in uh, France, he is only running with some middleware or some uh, small and medium scale ERP. So he wants to replicate the same solution, whatever we have uh, implemented in Europe. So this such kind of project is called rollout project where we will replicate existing solution in other part or other country or other branch of the client. So that is called a rollout project. Upgradation project is the upgradation of ECC to S4 HANA. Uh, uh, as the name says, it is not that simple to upgrade ECC to S4 HANA. There are certain techniques. We have to uh, migrate data in a different uh, methodology even in the complete architecture is different for ecc and s4 hana s4 hana is different and ecc is different so upgradation project also is a um, complex project like it takes uh, one one to two months for upgradation because we have to migrate all the complete existing system into a new system and then we have to train the end users using the new system so that is also um, uh, almost equivalent like a sub support project Okay, so these are the types of projects that we have in SAP domain. Um, I will discuss about uh, this ASAP methodology in detail tomorrow in the next session. So coming to testing, though you might not need this, but then these are the types of, we have five different types of testing methods in SAP projects. So the first method is the development unit testing. So this is done by the technical uh, consultant. We have security testing. If we, if, for example, if we have any uh, security integrations in our system, in, in our SAP client system, so we will do the security testing. If there are integrations with uh, other external modules like HR module, EWM, or uh, TRM, then we will do the integration testing. Uh, parallel testing is done uh, usually in the uh, legacy system to um, and this, this is mostly performed, uh, generally done uh, testing. And then we have user acceptance testing or UAT. This is also done by most of the companies. They uh, use this testing methodology, parallel testing and uh, UAT testing. So this is a normal, uh, um, whatever configurations we do in the client system. So that we have to test with some sample data. So yeah technical testing and functional uh, testing both will be done in this UAT testing. So these are the types of testing methods that we have in SAP projects. Okay, so in SAP SD, what is SAP SD? First of all, SAP SD module is a part of SAP logistics module that manages customer relationship um, starting from quotation to sales order. So this is the definition of SAP SD module, but in SAP SD, what components are there? What are the sub modules or key important concepts in SAP SD? Uh, of course, master data, customer and vendor master data. This is a sub module or a key important component in SAP SD module. And then we will have sales support. Sales support starts from inquiry, quotation, and then uh, pre-sales activities. Uh, shipping of material. So we will discuss what activities we do in shipping of materials. I think I have already showed you in the course content. We will deal with all the logistics operations here. And another concept or component is the sales activities. In sales activities, sales order, delivery of the item, posting a, a PGI, all these activities will be involved. And billing, and we, billing, we have different types of billings, 
also we can um, edit a billing or we can do some invoice correction all those concepts will be covered here and then transportation of products credit management contract handling and management foreign trade now this is not there this foreign trade components are there in ecc but in s4 hana they have migrated this gts gts is a different module again information system we will have all the standard reports that are uh, given by sap also we can create our own uh, customized reports using abap and screen painter and i'll explain you how to do that so we can create our own customized reports and we can store or we can save those uh, reports in this information systems so these are the components key components of this sap st module um and then in master data we have different types of master data as i told you but what types of data we have we deal with master data we deal with transactional data and we deal with customizing data tomorrow in the next session i'll explain you in detail what is this master data transactional data and customizing data and the regular sales process this, this is not only in sap this is overall sales process um it can be any erp it is not re relevant to sap it can be microsoft or it can be any general sales process so in general this is the sales process it is called order to cash or to otc process so this process either starts from an inquiry or a contract and then it moves to quotation and then we process sales order and then we deliver the material and then uh we issue invoice to the consult uh, invoice to the client and these are all the external uh, special cases like scheduling agreement contract shipment goods issue transfer order all these are special uh, scenarios but regularly this is the gen in generic this is the uh, otc process enquiry quotation sales order delivery and then invoice and this is the regular purchase order where uh, we post the purchase requisition and then we compare the those purchase orders then we um, you know confirm the purchase order and then we'll get the goods which is called grpo and then we have to pay to the client so that is ap invoice and then outgoing outgoing payment here in sales process we have incoming payment also that is also another step so th this is uh, uh, the sales process and purchase process overall purchase process but this we will discuss in detail about uh, how to you know do this so uh, all these contracts contacts enquiry quotation scheduling agreements all these are different types of documents so we will post an end to end otc uh, process and then um, we will see how it works so these are um, these are the this is the introduction of this is tomorrow i'll tell you about what is s4 hana what is the architecture or the background of ecc how data comes into ecc and goes out of ecc and then we'll discuss about what is enterprise structure how do we um, define this enterprise structure all those details we'll see tomorrow and also implementation methodologies i'll explain you in a brief tomorrow after that we will discuss about navigations if you have any questions or if you have any feedback you can tell me no i'm okay right uh, just the initial session so yeah it's good the introduction so thank you and uh, we'll take one at a time. So basically, like, you know, I have, I mean, of course, navigating in SAP, I'm doing every day. So, but going in depth with you for the training, what, how, how uh, the back end, you know, those processes are being maintained. That is the main thing for me to you know, basically. Yeah, yeah. So since this is an introduction class, I've not told much about configurations. Um, but yeah, then yeah, can, I told you, uh, all these uh, uh, you, you're seeing my screen right so apart yeah. from introduction and then the navigation enterprise structure section one two three 
the core concepts will start from session three, the master data. And then from here on, we will have so much to learn. And we there are so many um, advanced topics that you have not uh, come across so uh, uh, till now. And uh, so the, in this, um, this module or this training will cover all the advanced topics also, not only introduction and then um, introduction and uh, intermediate topics, also advanced topics like ALEs, uh, EDIs, IDOCs, all this. Um, so all this is something. Yes. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Tell me. So all this it's good to learn, but you know when it comes to let's say, uh, as you have got like more five, four, five, like how many business uh, implementation experience you have. I Your voice is breaking. Can, can you repeat? Uh, the most important thing to go in market to fetch a job is like, you know, everybody asks, oh, uh, how many, uh, you know, implementations you have worked on or what sorts of, you know, configurations you have done. That kind of uh, questions are uh, quite often in the market, job market, right? Yes. So that kind of, uh, you know, sharing of knowledge, let's say, of course, you cannot do a project with me in, uh, in, in the real time, right? So something like basically what could be like an you know, overview, how how uh, an implementation consultant would work when uh, going in, in, in as the project, uh, that will really help. Sure, sure. I will. We will cover all those like this complete. So once, once you uh, take all this, I mean, if we... Once we reach till session 32, 31, uh, you will be confident. I'm sure you will be at least uh, 70 to 80 percent confident uh, to take over any three to five years experienced interview because uh, this, this, all these topics will cover um, a real time consultant, uh, for, uh, three years real time consultant knowledge. Also, I have I follow one uh, configuration document, which will have all the real time scenarios, uh, all the latest real time scenarios it will cover. I will share you the document. Also, we will go in that pattern only. So starting from enterprise structure to uh, till we reach these reports and analysis, I follow the same process and I'll explain you the, uh, what what that process is. I'll send you those documents also. So you can keep them as reference and in future, anytime if you have any issue or if you're stuck, you can uh, refer to that configuration document. Um, since you're already working as an end user, so um, you can confidently, after taking this training, you can confidently attend interviews and you can say that you have done one complete end-to-end -end implementation in ECC or s hana so this topic in mean, this training completes all the end to end scenarios end to end cycles end to end uh, advanced configurations so that you can confidently go and tell in the market that you have completed one complete implementation also when asked you can confidently answer all this you know you can, you can at least the bounce back 80% of questions uh, i mean you can answer 80% of questions whatever which are asked in the interview. So I will cover all those important topics which are mostly frequently covered in interviews, like uh, this rebate or stock transfer. All these are the important core concepts of SAP and credit management. Nowadays, they are asking about credit management, tax determination, uh, not tax determination. This complaint management, customer complaint management, these are all the key concepts of SAP SD and most of the interviews, most of the interviewers will be asking these topics. I mean, sometimes the interview starts from consignment itself. So, uh, yeah, so um, don't worry, we will cover all the important topics. I will send you this course content. Uh, okay. If you have any questions or doubts or concerns or any special topics that you want me to cover, we'll discuss that. And then we'll close the session. Tomorrow, we'll continue with introduction part two, which okay. will be introduction of PCC and S4HANA.
Okay. Uh, so basically, how many years of experience you have in SAP? I mean, uh, maybe around three years of experience right now. I mean, this company currently work, I have got one and a half. And previously, I was to you. Three, year, three, four years back, I used to work for another company. We also had S SAP as well. Right? Okay, so, so that you are an end, you were an end user for that company also, right? Yes. Okay. Great. So, any new or latest challenge that you have faced and you wanted to solve it using SAP SD knowledge? I'm sorry. Uh, any latest challenge uh, that you have come across in SAP? SD as a end user. Uh, I mean, in in the current company, like it's not a challenge, but they have very limited uh, uh, reports available for our sales. So there is a lot of manual work in Excel. We have. okay we have to do despite of what we have in SAP systems. So the reporting is very poor in our company. Uh, so that is one sort of it's, it's not a challenge but it's sort of a you know feature lacking we already have the data but they are not able to compile into a reporting uh, you know um, reporting style so it could be you know, patched easily okay so maybe you can develop some uh, user routines or user exits and uh, simplify the process using automation uh, I that is an um, advanced topic, user exits and routines. So we will cover that also. Um, so which industry you are into? Like what is your... I'm into pulp and paper industry right now. Uh, prior to that, the other company, they were into, uh, what is called? <clears throat> power, power engine. You know, Watsila, right? Watsila. Yeah. What's it like? Basically, sheep and power, uh, and basically engine and power distribution in engines manufactured from. Yeah, yeah. So that is into man. Okay. So currently, you're into manufacturing, right? Yeah. So they are into. No, currently, I'm working for a pulp and a paper manufacturing company. So it's a yeah. so basically the wood pulp. Okay. Yeah. Great. So we will create all the scenarios relevant to manufacturing industry. And also the materials, whatever we create, all those uh, we will uh, take uh, manufacturing products. I mean, pulp manufacturing, paper manufacturing products as uh, example, and then we will create. And then the scenarios, whatever we uh, cover here, we will do in terms of manufacturing business. Um, so any special topics that you want to be covered? Not, not really. I mean, you know, you are my guide and teacher, right? So basically, like, you know, as I told you that I want to get a breakthrough as a consultant in SAP, right? So, um, I mean, I have some functional basic um, background of you know, sales and logistics uh, and all those kind of functional experience I have. So, how I best I could implement my functional into this uh, SAP consulting that would be my goal in the future, right? Yes. Okay, so yeah, tomorrow we'll continue. Um, I have another session at 10. No worries. So tomorrow we will continue with introduction of, uh, in the continuation of the introduction. Today is just a brief. Tomorrow, um, I'll, I'll uh, walk you through these products we have seen. I'll start with this ASAP methodology tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.